Hi, I'm Alex and this is Alex Sweets. Today I will be showing you how to make red velvet crepes. You're going to need water, flour and cocoa, red food coloring, butter, vanilla, eggs, chocolate chips, milk, powdered sugar, and salt. Combine your eggs, milk, water, salt, sugar, vanilla, food coloring, and melted butter in a blender and pulse until foamy. Next, you're going to add your flour and cocoa powder and pulse until smooth. After the mixture is smooth, let the batter sit for a minimum of one hour. For the cream cheese filling, you're going to need powdered sugar, regular sugar, cream cheese, and vanilla. In a mixing bowl, add your room temperature cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla and mix until smooth. You might want to use something other than a spatula to mix this because you want to make sure that all of the cream cheese is well blended in with everything else. This is how the filling should look when everything is well mixed together. After you've let your batter sit for an hour minimum, make sure that the hot pan is coated with butter so it doesn't stick. Then pour your batter in the pan about one ounce and wait for the top to become not glossy. It should take about a minute. Then flip the crepe over and wait 15 seconds so it can cook on the other side. Now take your cooked crepe and then spread your filling in in an even line down the middle with a spatula. After you put your filling inside, take the both edges well, one at a time and fold the first one in and then the other one over to create a crepe shape. Next, take some melted chocolate or melted Nutella and put it in a Ziploc baggie, cut the end out, and drizzle it over your crepe. These red velvet crepes were super fun and easy and they were really, really yummy. You didn't see me flip the crepe in the pan because I was having lots of trouble flipping the crepe. It's really hard. Good luck to you. You'll probably get the hang of it. Just make sure that you have it well greased and they really don't break or crinkle a lot. It was just hard to kind of flip it over since it was the size of the pan. I'll put the written ingredients and description and directions down below. And I'll also put them on my blog or website, and I'll put the link in the description below. It was a really fun recipe. I got the red velvet crepe recipe from one website and a cream cheese filling from another. And I'll put the link as well down below so y'all can check them out. It really was great and fun. And I really would kind of warm these crepes up. I think that it'd be really great to have them warm. They were really big. My whole family enjoyed them, and I hope you guys will too. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment for more delicious recipes.